It's been about three months since we've seen Mourinho on the touchline, but he has been spotted in certain stadiums watching a certain club numerous times. His final match as a manager was a 3-1 loss to Milan at the San Siro, before Dan and Ryan Friedkin thanked him for what he had achieved at Roma and dismissed the legendary Portuguese manager. People will argue in either direction as to whether it was the right move. The schedule was about to get very easy for Roma, so perhaps Mourinho could have replicated what De Rossi has achieved as well. Or maybe Mourinho's reputation with the Roma players really was too far gone and replicating what De Rossi had achieved thus far would have been impossible. Who's to say? I mean, my crystal ball is in the shop. Sorry, guys. However, you don't need a crystal ball to see that Mourinho has been spotted multiple times at matches in Portugal, or has been heavily linked to a massive, massive job in Germany that will soon be vacant. But so long as Mourinho hasn't retired from management, he will always, always, always be linked to jobs. There will always be a club that will be willing to give him a shot, as his track record speaks for itself. He is a manager that has guaranteed trophies throughout his career everywhere he has gone. Well, besides at Spurs, of course, but that's nothing new for Spurs managers. The thing is, is that his success comes with some side effects, heartburn, some unwelcome verbal diarrhea at times, and a penchant for scorching his relationship with his players. I hate to say it, but it is well documented over the years now. I can't look past it. It's, it's not just a coincidence or an unfair allegation that's placed upon him. But all the same, most are willing to take the bad with the good that he brings to football clubs. So where next for Mourinho? There have been two destinations that have really stood out, which we will get into in this video. I'm Adrian, by the way, and let's start with the German option. There have been a couple of instances where Mourinho has been linked to Bayern Munich, with the most recent of which being this season, of course. Given the fact that Mourinho was sacked in January of 2024, right as Bayern were going into their own slide of poor form, as alluded to in the intro, when Mourinho is available, his name will always be associated with clubs that have vacancies or have a manager that is struggling. And so it wouldn't come as any surprise that when Tuchel was really having difficulty with Bayern, stories came out that Mourinho was indeed brushing up on his German skills. He had downloaded Duolingo. Because of course, right? I don't doubt that he is learning some German as it's always good to keep your options open. And Mourinho was clearly a very intelligent guy and a polyglot. Then just recently with Bayern Munich suffering an incredibly rare loss to Borussia Dortmund, the talks came back again. By the way, the last time that Bayern Munich lost to Borussia Dortmund at home in the Bundesliga, almost 10 years ago in December of 2014. That is a crazy stat. That is a low for the club right now. Anyway, the murmurs of Mourinho coming in at Bayern this time did indeed take on a bit of a different look to them. And with Bayern also collapsing against Heidenheim recently, they may have become a bit louder. You had Didi Hamann and former Bayern technical director Michael Reschke agreeing on TV that Mourinho should be considered to take over for Tuchel in the here and now to try to find some kind of glory this season in the Champions League at the minimum, as Bayern have essentially forfeit the title to Leverkusen with their recent run of results. Leverkusen could win a domestic double, by the way. They could win a triple if they win Europa League as well. You had some fans speaking of the same, though in one particular case, on the fan-run blog Bavarian Football Works, writer Marcus Eredal mentioned that he should be considered on an interim contract to light a revenge-fueled fire in Bayern's players to see out the season. I have linked to that article below. Check it out as Marcus makes some intriguing points, such as how it's sort of impossible for Mourinho to lose with this Bayern situation. Bayern are struggling already, so failure to succeed at the club wouldn't really be a further hit to Mourinho's reputation. If he couldn't turn it around, he just did what Tuchel and apparently Nagelsmann couldn't do either. Oh, poor Nagelsmann, what a weird sacking. Interesting points, but for me, it's difficult to see Mourinho at Bayern, either in a caretaker role or as the manager next season. Mourinho will no doubt be above caretaker roles and would want some sort of two-year minimum of a contract to sign with Bayern. That's my speculation based on his career thus far. Plus, is he really the right manager for Bayern Munich? Is he a fit? Plenty of Bayern supporters have hated seeing how their team has played under Tuchel, with some pointing to it being classic Tuchel terrorism ball that he also exhibited while he was with Chelsea. If they don't enjoy Tuchel's brand of football and label it as nothing close to the Bayern way of playing, which let's be honest, they are right in saying so, then how on earth will they warm up to Mourinho's style of football, right? Yes, Mourinho's Real Madrid played some of the most exciting, scintillating, attacking football in the 2011-12 season, but 
Have we seen a Mourinho side play like that since? You can point to him not having the players or the tools to be able to do so, but he has barely even attempted to do so as well with the players that he's had. There was a moment, a flash in the pan at the beginning of his Roma tenure, where Roma had some stunning attacking passages of play, but beyond that, back to the Mourinho you know and love, or don't love, depends on how you feel about the individual. <laughs> so after Bayern got it wrong with Tuchel, would Mourinho really be the follow-up at Bayern? Could the board afford that? Never say never, but it's difficult to see that. And then when you couple that with the next bit of info we'll be going over, well, it makes it all the more difficult to see him landing in Germany. And so what am I talking about here? What was the title of this video speaking about in particular? The fact that Mourinho has been ever present at football matches in Portugal in 2024, namely those matches of SL Benfica. He was indeed at the clash at the Alvalade between Sporting and Benfica recently this past weekend, but he has mostly been spotted at Benfica matches. The ones that come to mind off the top of my head are the home matches against Gil Vicente and Porto Monense, against Sporting, since Benfica has played them a million times recently, including in the Portuguese Cup, of which Mourinho was there as well. There may be some others, but I can't say for sure. I even reached out to you guys on Twitter, and while a few of us remember seeing him at other matches, the only ones that we could confirm for sure were the ones mentioned. It may be some sort of... Mandela effect. Now, when asked about this, about his attendance record, Mourinho said the following, quote, Benfica are part of my past. Only God will know about my future. I lived near Lisbon. Going to Estadio de Luz is easy, 20 minutes and I'm there. I get very well looked after, but I also go to sporting too, and they do the same. At the moment, I am taking advantage of some downtime and being able to do the things I like. Now, it must be noted that there will likely be at least one job vacancy at the two Lisbon clubs this summer, and potentially two vacancies. Ruben Amarim is being tipped for the Liverpool job, and Fabrizio Romano is doing all he can to ensure that happens with his regular tweets about the guy. <laughs> Isn't that nice when that happens to your club? We, Benfica, have been the focus of his tweets many, many times over the last couple of years, so it's time for someone else to feel that Romano pull. So, Mourinho could be lingering around, hoping that Sporting will consider him as the guy to succeed Amarim should he end up leaving Sporting this summer, which does indeed seem like the young Portuguese manager could be on his way out of Sporting, possibly with two trophies in his pocket. Would Mourinho be considered by Sporting? Of course he would be. It's, it's Mourinho. Then there is Benfica, of which he has been loitering around at the Estadio de Luz. With Benfica's situation, it is now all but confirmed barring any sort of divine intervention, that Benfica will go trophyless. And when you combine that with the fact that Benfica's overall performances have been poor this season, it's easy to see why Mourinho would be considered by Benfica. As mentioned in the quote, Benfica is where Mourinho started his career as a manager, but it didn't last long due to some disagreements between the then Benfica president, Villarinho, and Mourinho. So perhaps he sees Benfica as an attractive option given the financial power that Benfica has, or at the minimum, their willingness to spend on their squads, at least when compared to the other Portuguese clubs, you know? To me, it does feel as though Mourinho's attendances at these matches in Lisbon isn't just a coincidence. It's not as if he is showing up to strictly glitzy, glamorous matches that you would expect to see people of a certain fame attending. He was showing up to matches against relegation-threatened Portimonense and 13th place Gil Vicente, so on top of the matches against Sporting at the Alvalade. To my knowledge, he hasn't attended any other sporting matches except those where Benfica was involved. I know he has played it off as, well, I live 20 minutes away from the stadiums and I enjoy watching football, so why not kind of thing, but it does feel a lot more deliberate than that. Mourinho was quite aware of the power he holds in Portugal and how much the league would love to have someone of his stature at the club. Hate him or love him, Mourinho is box office. He has supporters around the world that back him. He draws eyes from around the world, and for good reason. He's incredibly entertaining. Well, as a person, as sometimes his football is not entertaining. I think the people that strongly dislike him are taking things a little too seriously and should lighten up a bit. He's not doing anything to you personally. <laughs> it's still a game. But if your gripes are with his tactics and less so his personality, completely fair. Right now, it feels as if he is looking at Benfica's coaching situation. He sees a weakness or some cracks that he can exploit a bit, given the shaky ground Roger Schmidt is now standing on, because Mourinho's presence alone 
is very loud. If you are the Benfica board, or the sporting board for that matter, and Mourinho is hovering around, it's quite likely that they would seize the opportunity to have him for next season if they could, at least have that conversation. After what he achieved in Portugal previously with Porto, with the whole homecoming narratives and the marketing deals that would come with it, Mourinho is still absolutely a tempting prospect for Portuguese clubs. But then again, anything can happen and he could also end up at Chelsea for the third time or back at Manchester United. Who knows, man? But I really, really do find his constant presence in Portugal is quite compelling, namely his recurring attendance at matches Benfica is involved in. I guess we'll see. I'm sort of down the middle with the prospect of him managing Benfica. Has his football excited me across his last few jobs? No. Do I still find it hard to dislike him? Absolutely. I really enjoy the man that is Mourinho, and I believe in him to be able to win trophies. He's a proven winner, like we said at the beginning. He wins silverware everywhere he goes, and hey, it would be one hell of a ride having him at Benfica. That's it for me here today though, guys. So do let me know your thoughts on this and where you think Mourinho will end up next season. Subscribe if you're new here. We have some great coverage in the works, and I hope to see you in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and be well. Ciao.